My name is Adam Meyer. I am a mechanical engineering senior two now at Kettering University, and I just recently completed in the winter of 2024 Dr. Barry's uh, fluids class, fluid mechanics class. So now I'd like to come here today to share some tips about how you can best succeed in the class. So I was able to thankfully get an A throughout my hard work, and I'd like to give you some tips on hopefully you can uh, repeat this. So the important thing about fluid mechanics is understanding the basic principles because these will be carried out throughout the term. So one of the things that I would like to stress to you is to work on your definitions. They are extremely important. Things that you learn in the first week of class will be crucial in the last week of class when you're taking an exam or doing a project. So what I recommend doing and what I did actually is I created a quizlet and I just put every single term in there and I added on to it week by week. That way I could increase my knowledge and practice the problems so when it came to test time I could uh, use those definitions properly. Another big thing that I highly recommend doing is making sure to complete the homework. So what I did is I would, each week that we were assigned, uh, we weren't assigned homework problems, but they were uh, given out. What I recommend doing is completing these problems the week. I would kind of work on them ahead of the class. And at once, because during the first lecture, I'd get the problems corresponding to that, those, those problems in the book, I'd complete those. And then after the second lecture, I'd complete the other half. And then what I would do is when it came into a exam or something, I would, a week beforehand the exam, I would go through these problems again, uh, focus on certain ones that I thought would be important. And these are really important because they're gonna be basically on the exam. So he's not gonna throw anything new at you. You know, it's not about tricking you. So you wanna really make sure that you practice these problems. So I would complete those a second time, and in addition, when prepping for an exam, I would really focus on making sure that you go through the problems that are in the lecture, because if you can nail these problems, then you'll be very uh, well situated for other problems that you have to deal with. Uh, because it's really, he's not trying to trick you, you know, it's, it's, as long as you understand the basic principles, I think it's a very manageable class. So that's really practice, practice, practice. You know, I Masters is coming up this weekend, so and I'm a fan of golf. So one thing is even Tiger Woods, who's a phenomenal athlete, you know, he still has to practice all the time and to, to be a great golfer. So, I mean, we should take the same premise in becoming a good engineer and make sure we practice these skills. You know, it's very important. So that is the one thing that I would like to say. And additionally, in that re respect, it's really, you know, like I said, in the Initially, it's Dr. Barry will emphasize it, but it's about following the path. And this is very important because when you want to focus on the basic principles like unit or verification, this is going to come into almost every single thing you do and can be really useful. And I've started to find even use when I'm using it at work. So this is one thing that I would get try to focus on getting and understanding really early in the class because it's going to show up on multiple different exams. So you want to make sure you practice this, you know, make sure that you can verify units and go through the examples in class because then when you see it the first time on a test, you're not going to freak out about it. So that's one thing that I would focus a lot. And that's a part of that following that path. You know, you got to understand that basic principle and then the definitions, and then you can practice those problems and then you can bring in new information and combine it and practice even harder problems and understand more more about the concept. Additionally, I'd like to recommend uh, what I did personally is I, uh, if Dr. Barry offers it again, is a project. He offered a project to our class. Your class is a little bit bigger, so I don't exactly know how that, if he would offer that. But if you have the opportunity to do that and you are a motivated student, I highly recommend it because I felt like I better understood uh, fluid mechanics topics more than I would have just simply taking a final exam. So if you were to do this, then you would better understand those principles. So overall, to wrap up, I just want to recommend one learn your definitions do a quizlet two practice the homework problems it's really it's just do those you know space it out adequately don't pile it up and you're not going to get overwhelmed by it three make sure that you uh listen and take notes uh make sure you follow that path and focus on unit verification if there's one thing that i could take away from the class it's really unit verification because that's something that i can use throughout any other class and a really important concept so that's what i would suggest you guys do to be successful in the class and you know don't freak out it's as long as you break it up into little parts it actually becomes pretty easy so those are my recommendations. Thank you very much and have a good day.